Welcome to Higher Ed. In this series, you'll hear from professionals working in some of LA's hottest emerging industries, high demand, good wages, and the education to get there. Hi, my name is David Martinez. I work as a orientation and mobility instructor for LA Unified. So an orientation and mobility instructor works with visually impaired children ages 3 to 22 to move around independently. I start working with them throughout the entire school year. Generally, it's one-on-one, -on -one, very individualized, very specific to what that student needs. So we teach them from the beginning how to take care of a, a cane, how to use it responsibly, how to use it to cross streets. So we really teach them that the white cane is part of who they are, it's part of uh, their identity. When you see a student able to just use their cane without any fear or worry of judgment, and that, that just really makes me proud when I see, see that kind of thing on, on campus. I kind of always knew since I was young that I wanted to work with kids or give back to my community. I grew up in El Sereno, which is uh, northeast Los Angeles. East LA has a rich history. So I went to Cal State Los Angeles to study my undergraduate degree in psychology. In between uh, my un finishing my undergraduate and going to graduate school, I only had a month. It was pretty back to back. I'm really lucky because I get to say that I really enjoy and I really like this career. I don't even feel like I'm at work. It's really an awesome field to consider. Hey, my name is Morgan White and I'm a sixth grade math and science teacher. And as teachers, we have a great impact on kids. I actually grew up in this neighborhood. For me, being able to come back here and be a teacher it was really crucial for me. And so I wanted to come back and be that person for kids here now. I went to Pepperdine for my master's in teaching and for my teaching credential. That was actually a one year program. So I was able to do it fairly quickly. At Pepperdine, we would student teach for the beginning of the day from like seven to three, and then we'd have class from four to eight, and that would be four days a week. So although it was a short program, in terms of it being a year, it was a very strenuous program. For me specifically, I student taught at an elementary school in Huntington Park. I've had a great time teaching science because of the change and the standards and the way that we're encouraged to teach it now. This is rewarding for me on a personal level because this is where I grew up. There's a need for math and science teachers, especially middle school math and science teachers. I went to a school a few blocks down from here. The students didn't come to our school, they would actually have been going to my old school. So for me to be able to come back here and provide something different and exciting and make kids happy to come to school every day was really important to me because education is crucial. It's important to have somebody who is African-American and female in STEM fields, um, especially teaching. When I was growing up, I didn't have any female science teachers and I didn't have any teachers of color in um, any of my STEM classes. So it's really important for me to be a representation for my students now. Mm -hmm.